guys, I'm Miss Doris Cosplay Art, and what we're going to make today is Sailor Venus Scepter. It's not a runner scepter, but it's a roller ball perfume scepter. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have our materials, which is aluminum foil, warbla, any type of warbla, but I'm using black warbla, heat gun. Scissors, of course, and then any rollerball perfume. We're going to cut our material as a square. Then we're going to measure it to see how well, how much I need. So I'm going to cut this in half. Once I cut it in half, I'm going to measure it on the perfume again. This is like back and forth, back and forth, over and over again. Then I'm going to heat it up the piece. for the bottom part of the handle so we're gonna work on the handle for a bit it's not as a detailed as the top <laughs> it was a top because the top took me a uh, longer so here's the bottom of the little handle I'm just going I'm using this as a base so I can add of course another top cleaner layer later on and I'm going to use the same thing Again, with the, on top of the cap later on. We're going to glue it. Let it dry for a bit. And to see if you like, just like how, how, like how long do you want it to be or short. So I'm just going to play around with this. And now what we're going to work on is the cap. The cap is plastic. And the warp is plastic too, so you need to be careful when you're pretty much heating out the cap. And the glass, of course, like the, the perfume is glass, so you don't want to like let it explode in your face. And I have goggles on, well, the glasses, <laughs> not the goggles. So we're gonna cut it up, heat it up, over and over again. You have to be really patient with this material. Um, it is time consuming, but we need to have patience with it. And you have to be careful too, this material gets really hot and you don't want to burn yourself. I'm pretty much used to it, just burning myself. <laughs> just like burning myself over and over again. And my fingers will turn red, even though I'm kind of used to it. But you have to be really fast, especially for this project because I'm working with glass. <laughs> and with the cap, which is plastic, like I said before. So what we're going to do, we're going to heat up again. So I can cut out like the the excess of the perfume. You have to work really, really super duper fast. Not slow. <laughs> you can't work slow on this project. But as a beginner, if you're uh, if you're familiar to it, to the material, that's great. But if you're not, just be careful and just experiment. Just experiment. Oh yeah, that's my advice to you. Just experiment. All right. So we're going to cut out the excess with a pair of scissors. Scissors. And then you're going to fix the seam later on, um, just by using like the Dremel. But at this point, I'm going to cut off a little strip to hide that little seam. So I'm going to heat it up first. Then cut out my little strip. Cut a little bit skinnier and then heat it up again. Yeah, try not to... Try not to use like, the, the, just wash it with the nozzle of the heat gun. Yeah, you don't want to get too close to the warbler or of course working with the glass. Because it gets really hot. <laughs> it gets really, really super, super duper hot. Alright, so we have it there. And then we're going to use the Dremel for this later on to clean up the thing. To make it a little bit smoother. Alright, so now we're going to work on the cap. We're going to heat up our piece. We gotta cut it up in half, just a small square. Then we're going to roll, just, just, just roll it around the cap. Cut out the axis of both sides. Cut a little bit more, which is good. I'm not a perfectionist, so I just cut it out just, just, just because. All right, so you go to the other side. You cut it up. 
then <laughs> it's like the same process like over and over again and here it is so you're going to pretty much measure it like how, how it looks like and it looks pretty good not that bad but it looks pretty good all right so we're going to work on the little tiny piece that is pretty much on top of the cap i'm going to call it as a cap <laughs> for now so we're going to cut out a little little tiny tiny circle it doesn't have to be a perfect circle because i'm not using any pattern here so i'm like measuring with the with just eyeballing it to see how perfect circle or is going to look like so i'm just fixing it just fixing it and there it is and then what we're gonna do we're going to work on the cap uh like the little tiny piece out like the base that i use for the bottom of the handle we're going to do the same thing for the top of the cap until you're satisfied with the, the size or the shape of it if you're not then you can just do it over and over again <laughs> you just have to be really patient all right so we're going to cut a strip that goes around the bottom cap and then once you cut up the strip you're going to measure around the cap again <laughs> the cap again just just to see if it's, it's like enough but i pretty much cut a, a long a long strip <laughs> okay. so once you hit it up you're going to place it around the cap at the bottom cut it out and then there you have it so uh like the size of the little strip is pretty much like a quarter inch or it could be like more than a quarter inch i didn't even measure it but that's pretty much a quarter inch so there it is looks really good looks pretty good for myself all right so next up is we're going to cut this is craft foam by the way this is a craft foam we're going to use any just circle circular um base i just use one of the um paints airbrush paints so i can have an idea how big or small the circle is. Now we're going to work on the other piece. Yeah, this this scepter, like self scepter, has a lot of pieces. <laughs> like a lot of pieces. But I'm thinking about making another one, like another scepter, someone scepter, which is I don't know which one is next. <laughs> yeah. But here it is. You're gonna cut it up. Heat it up, cut and hit, cut and heat. <laughs> Until you're uh, again satisfied with the piece. Because these are like small pieces at this point. But um, I came up with this idea just checking out like the Sailor Moon scepters a long time ago. And I was watching like the original ones. I'm like, oh, I can, I would, I really want to make a scepter. And then I was like using my perfume because I was like leaving just. <laughs> just want to go out so i'm like wait a minute i can use this i can use this to make a scepter <laughs> that's what i just this idea i came out with all right so you can cut out the piece again um you can always use a dremel too just to clean it up that's pretty much your choice for that part there but i'm just using the scissors plus i'm going to add like the ring later on which you won't be able to see it So now I'm just measuring with like the circle, which is good. Perfect, perfect size. So you're gonna make two circles for both sides. Now we're going to work next uh, the little circle. Next, we're going to work on the ring, an oval ring. So, uh, uh, so all you have to do, you just have to measure it. There's no patterns involved here. <laughs> no patterns, like zero zip nada. <laughs> no, no patterns. Okay, this is like a, a short, fun project. Well, actually not short because 
the warbler took me longer to heat <laughs> and to cool it down, of course. So we are working on on the little ring still. So we're going to use a mat and a electric knife and carefully cut it out. Wash it with your fingers. You don't want to cut them off. <laughs> and then we're going to do the same sandwich process over and over again. So the same technique I use for the circles. Now I'm using it for the rings to, to make it more stable. So you're going to cut off, of course, two pieces, squares, two square pieces. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then you heat them up again. Heat, cut, heat, cut, heat, cut, 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 heat. <laughs> Do I get tired of this process? Yes and no. Yes and, and no. Because <laughs> I'm really patient with this with this um, particular material. Which I, I love it. I love this material a lot. It's challenging. But um, sometimes it's just... It's just really challenging. <laughs> so I'm finally using a sculpting tool. I finally found it the other day. So I'm pretty much just fixing this part here of the ring. Then I'm going to cut it out. And then you're going to cut out the inside of the ring. Make sure you, you don't burn or heat up the mat. Because it will get just get deformed. And you don't want that. It happened to me with the other mat. For some reason, I just left it on the table and I completely forgot to switch to aluminum foil. And then I just heat it up and like, oh snap, I just heat up my mat and it just damaged. And I just ended up just not throwing away, but just use it. I just cut it up and just use it on something else. Don't ask me. Just just, just keep on continuing on um, the second moon scepter. Alright, so... Once we switch on the aluminum foil, we're going to heat up the handle, well, the top of the cap again. We're working on the cap still, not the handle. So we're going to measure the ring on the top. We're going to try to straighten up. Doesn't have to be perfect, but because I'm going to add the circle on, on the ring. So I'm, I will actually do that at the end, at the very end. Once it's like completely done. And then the good thing is that I don't have to be worrying about using the heat, like the heat gun on, like on the handle and the cap. So I can just use it on, like on the, the, the accessories, which is good. I don't have to get very nervous or, <laughs> which, is, which is good. All right, so we're going to work on the circles. We're back in the circles, guys. We're back in it again. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut two squares. Tiny squares. Then we're gonna heat them up again. Heat, cut, heat, cut, heat, 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 cut, cut. And then we're going to do the sandwich method again. Then we're going to use our sculpting tool for the edges. Cut it out. And then measure the around the ring if you like the the size of it you set a start with it that is great that is bueno excellent so i'm just like playing around with the scepter because <laughs> i really like it like i'm pretty much impressed with myself like oh wow this looks really good all right so we're going to hit it up again and the best part about this material you don't have to use glue at all no adhesive required all you need is Warbler and heat gun and it's just blue by itself. Alright, so now we're going to work on the little handle of the cap. So I'm just using um, strips. Just um, leftover strips. I have like a huge bag of leftover um, Warbler. Which is just crazy. Now I have like a second big bag. Which is like insane. I'm like, great, now I have more scraps. But don't throw away this gas scrap. Because it's good for other projects. You want to use it for um, just small like accessories, like I'm doing here now, for chains, for like something creative. 
So we are working still on the little handle. Doesn't have to be nice or, or good looking. <laughs> but, but of course, you want it to... If it's your first time doing it, just don't stress yourself. Because I pretty much experience... I'm, I'm experienced um, Warbler Master. I've been using Warbler for, for at least four years. So now we're going to stick it in, like on the on the cap. Yeah, stick it on the cap. Fix it until you're happy with the with the shape, which I am happy. So now we're going to draw the heart. Like I said, there's no patterns required here. So I'm just drawing the heart. And just measuring like the circle so I'm like okay is this part is big enough or do I have to make it smaller then we're gonna heat it up I think next time I should like do panels for this because it was like all experiment like an experiment but now I know for next time I'm just gonna do patterns and why not but I'm gonna do patterns for the next Sailor Moon scepter or Sailor Scout scepter which yet to be enough Alright, so let's cut out the little heart. Uh, you just need a just one layer of the sheet. You don't, you don't need two layers at all. With one layer, you're good. Measure it again. And then, after I'm cutting and perfecting my heart, we are going to take a mat. Swish your mat. You need to swish your mat. Switch your mat. Make sure you don't heat it up. <laughs> Like I, I had done in the past. Wish I was a there with me. That was it was sad. It was expensive, man. I don't know what happened. Like oh, it's, it's whatever. Alright, so we're we have the mat on the table. Now we're going to take these vector knife and carefully cut the inside of the heart. And then once we cut the inside of the heart, we are going to switch our mat to aluminum foil switch it now <laughs> and then once we switch it we are okay we are going to play around with the heart just just play around with the shade with the heart heat it up again and little circle then we're going to put it on top of it and then the next thing, once you're done with the heart, we're going to work on the like the upside down cross. I'm just gonna call it like that. We're going to draw it out. This is all, this is all about drawing and eyeballing, and of course, just make sure like like you're satisfied with this like with the size. If you want to do like patterns for it, if you're planning on making more, just make sure you do patterns. <laughs> Don't be like me. Alright, so we have the upper line of the cross. Cut it a little bit shorter. You gotta heat it up. And just stick it in there. You're gonna do the same process for the other side. But you don't have to, it's your choice. If you want to do it, then go ahead. Alright, so now we're going to do the painting, the paint job. So you need a blow dryer, your Mud Podge, a neon orangey paint, and gold paint. And you can use any brush for the Mud Podge. Mud Podge, Mud Podge, Mud Podge. Okay, it's the same thing. So you're going to use at least, well, add like two to three layers. Um, the purpose of this, uh, because if you want to smooth out your surface, it makes it shiny too. Then the blow dryer, of course, it makes the job, your paint job or your primer job, a little bit more easier and rapido, like fast, fast job. So yeah, so you can just use three to five layers, but I use like a hundred layers. <laughs> 
<laughs> like a hundred, like a hundred layers. But no, I'm just lying. Just, just five layers is just good. So you're going to blow dryer it again until it's dry, of course. <laughs> Paint it again. Well, add the little blue again. And voila! Okay, now we're going to add the gold paint. Well, actually, I did a primer, a black primer, just black acrylic. And then you're going to add a little gold paint. I love painting a lot. I just It's just one of my favorite, like, scales, like, one of my favorite, like, things to do. I get really excited. I'm like a little kid. Like I get like, oh, painting job next. So I get really, really super excited. You have no idea. <laughs> it's, it's just so therapeutic. I just, I just love it. So once you add your 300 layers of the gold paint, you're going to move now to the handle. But of course, you're going to let it dry and use the blow dryer. It's really helpful just using like the blow dryer. Alright, so now we're going to work on the neon orange paint, which I love. I like it. Well, not not really, not, 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 not really. It's just, I don't like neon colors at all. I mean, instead of being a scepter, so I'm like, oh, this is the perfect color for the scepter. Why not? <laughs> it just hurts my eyes. Like, for some reason, just neon colors just hurts my eyes. Alright, so we're going to add at least for this one. A thousand layers of orange paint because <laughs> it's a cheap paint. <laughs> I just ended up using the cheap paint because I just found it in the closet on my material closet. So I'm like, oh, I can use this paint for better bands, but you can use other neon orange paint. So once you add five for me, just just five layers of paint. <laughs> You can use, uh, just, well, just, just five layers of six layers, it'll be fine. Then you're going to blow dry it again. And then you have it! Your Slater Venus Scepter! <laughs> and here it is! Thank you so much for watching this video. Also, like and subscribe for more content. And if you have any questions regarding this video and this tutorial, please comment section below. And I have my Patreon. Please check it out if you like. And then I have my awesome patrons. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Adios! Hi guys, I'm Miss Charles Class by Art. And what we're gonna make today is Go. And here it is. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like and subscribe.